Hi, RJ. I'm glad you found me. Dr. D said you'd be coming by. Hi, Dr. Moisen. We're trying to figure out the final pieces to our mystery. Well, we had some tennis shoes washed up on the beach, and we don't know where they came from. And that sounds like a real mystery. It really is. We think that the shoes came from someplace far away, that the ocean currents brought them to Virginia. That's very possible. We know that the Gulf Stream flows along the coast of Virginia. We're not sure how the shoes got from the Gulf Stream onto the shore. Dr. D suggests that we come learn more about coastal currents. Are coastal currents different? Yes, they are. Coastal currents can be located on the surface or on the bottom of the ocean. And they can be formed by density differences or tidal processes, but they are always found near the shoreline. Well, it doesn't sound like they are the answer. They could be, but first let's talk about dispersion. What's dispersion? Suppose you placed 100 yellow ducks in the center of a pool, turned off the pumps, and went away for 24 hours. Where do you suppose the ducks would be when you came back? Probably in the center of the pool, because there aren't any currents to move them around. Actually, we'd find them randomly distributed or dispersed throughout the pool. Why wouldn't the ducks all be in the same place? Small-scale circulation patterns in the pool that move the water around will actually affect where these objects in the pool go. It could be something as small as a gust of air. But if the tennis shoes came from far away, they floated in currents that were already moving. Yes, but major currents have lots of eddies, filaments, swirls, and even jets that interact with and move objects. Where are eddies and filaments? Eddies are formed when a current doubles back to form a small whirl, and filaments are meanders that come off from the current. So maybe the eddies or filaments brought the tennis shoes into the shore? That's possible because shoes caught in these small currents could travel across these major currents. Does the Gulf Stream have any eddies or filaments? Yes, lots of them. There are even large circulation eddies that break off from the Gulf Stream. I think that's the answer to our oil glob mystery the loop current in the Gulf of Mexico. Now for the shoe mystery. Do coastal currents complete the process of bringing the shoes on shore? Yes, they can, but most of the shoes would not make it. If they float, won't they eventually end up on shore? No, most will end up in the Sargasso Sea. That's a place in the Atlantic Ocean with a lot of seaweed. Why there? Large circulation gyres in the North Atlantic Ocean move in circular clockwise pattern. Floating objects within these waters tend to move towards the center of rotation. I guess if the coastal currents could bring the shoes on shore, now all you have to do is find out where the container fell off the ship. Sounds like a good idea. And if the location's right, we will then know if it's possible that the currents, dispersions, and coastal currents brought them on shore. Thanks, Dr. Moisen. You're welcome. Glad I could help. Keep me posted.